So this is going to be a slightly more technical lecture about some of the capabilities that YouTube give you and also a little bit more information on SEO, how to get your channel to rank higher. So the first thing you'll want to use the YouTube backend for is to look at your views. YouTube actually give you a ton of analytics on at what point people like the video, at what point they leave the video, at what point they comment or subscribe. So you can see which videos are winning you the most subscribers. You'll see the evidence that when you say, please subscribe, that's when you get the most subscribers, all that kind of stuff. And the YouTube backend is really quite detailed on all that sort of thing. You can also integrate Google Analytics. So that's something I'd really recommend if you want a bit more detailed information about where they're from, who they are, that kind of thing. It really can't hurt to have as much information as possible. As I mentioned earlier, the main thing with SEO is choosing the best keywords for your goals. I'm going to include a couple of tools that are really useful for finding out which things are popular and which things might be a good target SEO keywords for you. Google Trends is the most popular one, but as with everything, it's only as good as the information you put in. So you type in keywords that you think will be good and it will tell you whether or not they're popular. But initially, you need to think of the keywords. So it's really important you try and think as a consumer. What are your viewers going to be searching for? What would you search for if you were in their shoes? And then put those as your keywords and Google will tell you, great job, that's a popular one, stick with it. Of course, you don't want your keywords to be too popular. For example, I mentioned in a few videos ago, you might want to do British YouTuber. But I'm going to go ahead and guess that on Google search, that is a hugely competitive category. Loads of people are using that tag. So you might want to do something a bit more specific, like charity shop blogger. But again, you don't want to be too small either. So just have a play around with Google keywords and see the kind of market you want to reach and which keywords are going to work really well for you. Another great little tool that YouTube offers, which I mentioned earlier, is setting your featured content. This is normally going to be your channel trailer. With this featured content, it has to be short. They set a time limit on it, so you can't just use one of your normal videos unless your video is really snappy. It needs to be an advert length because they're going to display it instead of the normal adverts they have for makeup or cars. It will be your advert instead. Of course, YouTube are only going to do this if your, if your channel is really relevant and also growing really well, giving them a good impression of how you're doing but it can be an amazingly powerful tool if they do start using your channel as an advert. So I definitely recommend you find something to give them as your featured content and tick that box off. The next technical hack you want to do is give yourself a branded watermark. This is gonna be a little thumbnail that appears throughout your entire video as a clickable subscribe button. So it's probably gonna be a little thumbnail either perhaps your face thumbnail or something like that, or you might want to have a subscribe style square button, like a YouTube red play button. Whatever you want, it should be a watermark that can appear throughout your whole video that will make people realize they can click that to subscribe. Another good tip is the closed captions. And what this means, if you've ever watched a video in a foreign language, you can click the closed captions button and it will come up with a text of what's being said in your language. This can be really good. YouTube do it automatically. They have software that kind of follows along to what you're saying and does the text, but it also can be quite inaccurate. So if you have the time or you're really dedicated to growing your channel, I'd really recommend going into the closed captions text and editing it so that it's exactly right, at least so that it includes the brands and the keywords that you're talking about, because this is really partly the only information that YouTube has to know what you're talking about. YouTube is a computer, so it can't actually watch your videos and understand what you're saying. But from the closed captions, it can work out the content of your video and where you should come in the search. Alongside the captions, there's also your description, which we're going to talk about later. But between those two, that's really the only information YouTube has about what your video is about. So definitely make sure if you have the time to correct your closed captions to make them really precise. This may not be an option for you, but you want your channel to be as old as possible. So right now, today, just create your channel. Even if you do nothing with it, you should make it as soon as possible. Because every day, every month, every year older than it is, the higher it's going to come up in the search. So pause this video right now, go and create a channel, just so that you've got that domain name bagged and your channel exists. And then in months time, you can do all these things that I'm teaching you, upload your videos, grow your channel, but at least you will have already put your stake in the ground early on. 
When it comes to your file title compared to your video title, I'd recommend thinking about that from a keywords point of view as well. So your file title should just include your keywords, be really like SEO hacked. It doesn't need to be something the consumer is going to want to click on. Whereas your title should be something much more catchy, much more clickable to the viewer. So perhaps your file title is just Egypt travel vlog Hagada Cairo, that kind of thing, which is going to be the keywords. But the actual title of your video might be my Egypt adventure or come traveling with me in Egypt, something a bit more appealing like that. And a lot of the big YouTubers now do kind of a cryptic title, like our new house. And actually, when you watch the whole video, it's just a joke. And they walked past a house and they were like, oh, we should make this our new house. And then they've made that into the title of the whole video. So the title can be much more kind of misleading, clickbait, exciting, talking directly to the person. Whereas the actual file title of the video that you've uploaded should be kind of keyword optimized for your search.